This news is dying, and it's dying quite fast. Um, you've had Bill O'Reilly leave, Greta Van Sant. Practically all of the female names that you knew previously, most of them are gone. So Fox News, the ship is sinking. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know who Judge Jeanine Pirro is. She's an unhinged, um, basically strong, strong conservative anti-Democrat lady. And she's honestly crazy. I mean, I've never seen anybody with less class and respect than her. Someone on Fox News saying that Obama doesn't have the balls. Like, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, but we're here to cover this because she has gone defending Donald Trump Jr. Because, of course, once somebody fucks up, Fox News is there to do damage control. Except for Shep Smith and um, Chris Wallace. But, of course, you still have this lady. You have Sean Hannity, etc., etc. Um, she said, quote, if the devil had dirt on an opponent, I'd be, quote, on the first trolley to hell. I really do hope you go on a trolley to hell because you are a, a waste to this planet and the type of shit that you're doing. But anyways, here's what Ross Ray says. They say, Fox News host Janine Pirro said on Sunday made an interesting admission with regards to her morals around electoral help from hostile foreign powers or other unsavory sources. Unsavory. <laughs> the Hill reported that Pirro said she would ride, quote, the first trolley to hell if the devil had incriminating information on a political rival. Um, Pirro was defending the actions of President Donald Trump's eldest son, Donald Jr., who met with a Kremlin-aligned Russian lawyer and a Russian-born lobbyist, along with the top brass of the Donald Trump 2016 campaign staff. Here you go. Quote, this hysteria has nothing to do with Russia and everything to do with Donald Trump. Their hatred, their intolerance, their venom for him. And if it doesn't stop, then the Democrats alone will be responsible for the demise of a workable and effective government for the people. As someone who's run for office five times, if the devil called me and said he wanted to set up a meeting to give me opposition research on my opponent, I'd be on the first trolley to hell to get it. And any politician who tells you otherwise is a bald-faced liar. Okay, so this just tells you what kind of morals and what kind of values, integrity, and ethics a dumbass like you would have. And I, we all know this. It's Fox News. What do you expect? Honestly, what do you expect? But just no value, no nothing. Here's what it is, okay? Now, this is where problems really come up. Because before this... Not only is she, um, you know, essentially um, influencing people to break the law, because I'm going to get into that soon, um, but she just shows that she has no values, morals, or integrity, or any of that shit. Um, so she says, quote, there's no law that says a campaign cannot accept information from a foreign government. Um, this is false, demonstrably false. So... Here's what rosters this year. However, the Federal Election Commit Campaign Act stipulates, quote, federal law prohibits a foreign national from directly or indirectly making a, quote, contribution or donation of money or other thing of value or to make um, or to make an express or implied promise to make a contribution or donation in connection with the federal, state or local election. Um, and prohibits a person from soliciting, accepting, or receiving such a contribution or donating a uh, donation from a foreign national. So this is information that is incriminating upon an opponent is indeed, in anybody's book, a thing of value. So he did break the law. You're just trying to do, you're just trying to um, do some damage control. Let's be real here. You guys are the apparatus for the Republicans, and you lose. You What's up, guys? It's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail, and we need your help.